Hello fellow Atto 3 owners, it looks like the new Atto 3 system version 1.5 has changed the password for third party apps. What does that mean? It means you will not be able to install new apps or update the, your current third party apps until we know the new password. Now there are two solutions. Before you update uh, your system, <coughs> you need to make sure that the apps that you want are already installed and loaded and assume that in the future a new password will be known or the new password will be known um, if you need to um, load new apps or update the current ones. The second alternative is to install an app that will allow future um, installations without requiring the Atto3 um, third party app password. Um, it's been a number of years since I've developed um, Android uh, apps um, so I'm a bit out of date. I've researched um, possible solutions. Um, I, I didn't want to go down the path of um, root access or, or allowing debug or secret, um, secret uh, USB ports. I wanted something that was going to be safe and simple and I think I found it. Um, Gbox. The simplest way to describe um, Gbox is that it's an it's a operating system that runs within the Android. It's not exactly that, but that's the way it's perceived. So, so you run all the apps inside of Gbox, and they run perfectly normal, perfectly uh, right, there, and they run in a safe environment. Once installed, you'll um, uh, download and run run many of the apps. To download the app, you will not need a password. I've been playing with it and and researching it for a while now, and I'm happy to install it install it in my car. As you see it supports many apps that you can download except for one very important one and that's the browser. So if you want Firefox or if you want Chrome I suggest you do that um, right now. Um, if you're happy to install it you go to the uh, Gbox website which is at gboxlab that's g-b-o-x-l-a-b dot com the link's down below and download the APA, uh, sorry, the APK file. Install the APA, uh, sorry, install the APK file like, you, like we did with the install of um, the Chrome uh, in that video. Um, now you will need a Google account, uh, username and password. If you do not have one, search Google uh, account create in your uh, computer or um, phone search engine and create one. Once installed, um, run, uh, run Gbox and uh, the installation um, is very simple and uh, there's a lot of instructions um, so I won't bore you with a um, YouTube video as to, as for the uh, installation. Um, just a note, when you install it the first time and run it the first time, it will ask you for your Google credentials, your username and password, your Google account, that's why you have to have the account uh, ready. Okay, so how do you run Gbox? Well, you go to Gbox. And this will show you the list of applications that you can download. So these are all the applications you can have available. And this is the application, these are the applications that I've, um, I've already um, downloaded. So if you, just, if you want to run a program that you've already downloaded, you just press it and off you start using it. So there you go. Um, <clears throat> you press that to go back. If you want to download one, now what's one I'd like to download? Um, let's see what Google does. So all you do is just pick what you want to download and you say yes, I want to. Ooh. My oh, apologies, that looks like a, uh, let me check. So it downloads and installs. Okay, now we can open it. Oh, 
Oh, it's just Google Play. I thought it might have been a browser. Okay. So let's have something else. Um, so let's say we want to download uh, Disneyland. Uh, D Disney. I think you get the message anyway. So you just say, yes, I want to download it, and, and off you go. So just a recap, your install apps are there. So so if we if we just go back to here, and you go back, you'll see your install apps are always installed. But your apps are running within, your apps are running within the environment the G-Box sets up. Hope that all makes sense. Um, okay.